Legos here. Today we are going to be working on crochet dog band bandana. These are the large, these are the mediums, and then these are small, and then this is the extra small. And uh, we're going to be doing this style today because as we go, I'll show you how we can just increase them. So, what we're going to need today is we're going to be using I 5.5 millimeter. Going to need our tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. And for yarn today, I'm going to try out this Karen One Pound in the Sun Yellow. So, get those supplies together and I will meet you back here. Alrighty then, I'm back. So the way we're going to do this is we have two choices. Uh, the easier of the two is to do a slip knot and chain up four, two, three, four. And then you can work all your stitches in that first single crochet. Or you can do the magic circle, which is the way I'm going to do it today. Now, how we're going to start is we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And in our circle, or in that chain, or in that first chain from that chain four, if you did that version, we're going to do two more double crochets. Okay, there we go. One. That chain three will count as a double crochet. Then we do one more. And now we're going to chain two and then back into our circle we're going to do three more double crochets so one two and three so now I'm just going to close this hole. All right. Three double crochets, a chain through, chain two, and another set of three double crochets. Now we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're going to turn our work. And in this last double crochet that we did, this counts as a as a double crochet and we're going to put two more double crochets in that first stitch there. So go ahead and yarn over, pull up, one, two, one, two, yarn over, pull up, one, two, one, two, and then we're going to chain one. And that's one set right there. This is going to be our middle bit. It's going to be this whole middle bit here. This is how we're working it, in case you need to know that. We started here. So we're about to start our second row. In this middle, we're going to do three double crochets. We're going to do one, yarn over, one, two, one, two. And our third double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then back in that same middle, I'm going to slide that over, I'm going to put three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're going to chain one. I pulled my, my stitches over and I have to turn it toward me. You can see here's one stitch. Here's the next stitch. And this one is actually the top of that chain three right here. That's what we're going to be going into. Every time we turn, 
we're going to be going into the top of this chain three. Okay, and we're going to double crochet three into the top of that, into the top of that chain three. So there's one. Two and three. And to be honest, if you didn't go in the top of the chain three and you went into the second chain, forgivable. So now we're going to chain three again. So one, two, three. And you could even put a stitch marker here if you really wanted to. And now that's our first double crochet in the here. We're going to put two more. One and two. And then at the end of each of these little cluster things, we're going to chain one. Now we have another hole here, so we're going to go straight into this. This is actually the chain one. We're going to go into there and we're going to do three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one. Now we're back at the top of our peak here. And this is where we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets all in here. We're going to do one, two, three, chain one, chain two, pull it over a little bit if you need to, yarn over, one, two, and three, chain one, and then in this one, we're going to do it again, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, and again, I can flip it to you if you need to, one, two, three, the top of that chain three, three double crochets, one, two, and three. And this, that's the pattern. Each time you turn, you do your chain three, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain two for the peak, and three double crochets all in there. Three, chain one, three, chain one, three. Until you get to the size that you need. Go ahead and get your five rows and I'll meet you back when you finish this last row or however big you want to go because you just keep doing that. Expand it out as long as you want because it just keeps growing. There's nothing different you need to do. So go ahead and get as many rows as you want and I'll meet you back here to tell you how many chains you need to do. Okie dokie, I'm back. The difference between Here's the extra small, which has the five rows. One, two, three, four, five, which is this one. Then the small has one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So the difference is this one here, and I'll have the measurements for you here. This extra small is about, about seven inches by four and a half inches. The next one up, is the small and it has the six rows and from here to here it is approximately seven and a half inches by five inches so depending on how what animal you want and it'll be a lot easier when you have your own because you could just measure it on but like i'm making some of these for like clients so i was just guessing this is going to probably be good for shizus Little Yorkies, Chihuahuas, really tiny little dogs. This one's going to be 
I think, good for. And I'm going to know that conclusively this week when I hand some of these out, just for fun. And you can, if you like the size, you can always adjust your chain, and that's what's going to make it even better. But like for Macy, and I'll have a picture. Her and Harley have a neck about like 17 inches, 15 to 17 inches. And this is the large for that one. This is great. This one has 10 rows. And the only difference between the large, the medium, is that the small and the extra small, we're just going to chain 20. All the other sizes, I went up to, to 25 chains. So just a little extra there. So let's get this going. And since this is the, is the smallest one, I'm going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, and I've experimented a couple of different ways. This one here, I single crocheted in the top loop. Here's the bottom loop. Okay, I just single crocheted in that top loop. But on this one, it has, I single crocheted in that back bump. And between the two of these, this one that I did in the back bump definitely is feels more sturdy, especially when it comes to the tip because that thing's going to be in and out. And I know they look really similar, but I was fiddling around with it. And this one definitely seems to be a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do here, but it, it it's, it's completely up to you. So here's our chain. I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to go in these back bumps. Now here's our loop and here's that where it's coming out of. We're not going into that. I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to go into that second chain. One, two. And I'm going to go in the second chain bump. And I'm just going to single crochet all the way down. And sorry about my nails. I... I'm really, I'm just the worst at it as I was rushing because I was trying to be doing other things, but just single crochet in each of those bumps. Just make sure you're picking up that one loop on the back. At that base, that last one, single crochet. And now here we are, we're going to be working on the sides of these double crochets. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to capture two loops, but it doesn't always line out. So I don't want too much of a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and go, and this one is going to just be one loop. But for the most of them, I'm trying to get under two loops and not go in these holes here. So... This one, I'm just going to go in the, that bump there. And I guess I'm going to go in another bump. And now I'm at the middle. And I am going to go in that middle bit. Do that. Now I'm back over here. Let's see if I can go in here. As long as you're just, for the most part, spacing it. Just try to get it as spaced out as you can. Now I'm at the end. No. I'm going to just pick up one loop there. Slip stitch into that first double crochet. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then back into where I slip stitched into, I'm going to slip stitch. Okay. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. And I'm just raising my finger. That's my normal. That's my normal width. And go ahead and fasten this thing off. So this is what we got. And the way it works is, get your finger in there. And you can even do a chain five if this is too fiddly for you, is you just stick this through here. And then, son just got home. <laughs> um, yeah, so you just stick it into that chain and it does kind of hold a little bit, but what I like about it is that this is still so flexible that you can adjust it to the neck and just to, and just tie a loose knot and then it stays. And it holds really well. That's the extra small. And that is the five rows. And like I said, that one was about seven inches by four and a half inches. It's one, two, three, four, five. Or the small, I should say, is six rows. And this one is about seven and a half inches from before the loop to here by five inches. Three, four, five, six. This one is seven. So this one is medium. This would be good for cockers, maybe dogs around that size. Now, starting on the medium and the large, I did a chain 25. I did a chain 25 on them. The large measures 14 and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches. And this, this looks really good on my Doberman and my standard poodle this size here. I love this pattern. It's it's not mine. It's just the granny square. Um, but I was going to make two loops. But when I stopped, I don't know, you know how I am. I find things by accident. So I hope you guys go make up some of these. They're really super fun. And they're really pretty. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Oh, before I go, uh, I just wanted to apologize on my last video, which was that paw, I think it was, or the haul. I Somehow, I uploaded the wrong video, but I've since deleted it and re-uploaded the correct one. I have no idea what I did, but the correct one is up there now. So if you need to check that out, that would be great. If not, and you already seen it, sorry. <laughs> sorry you saw it. Alrighty, guys, I will uh, talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye.